This one is entitled Heroes and Scum. The beginning of the end. I will be discussing the foreign influences in Nigeria as well as reading you an article at the end from an African website that I will cite. I scanned through it already. I found it appropriate, but at this point I don't remember the website's name. And I'm getting my composure together because a leader must keep his composure. I continue. Blood for oil like Iraq and Afghanistan. Just like then, just like not too long ago, there was protests saying foreign countries like France want our oil. De Gaulle wants our oil. They're jealous of you, just like Gaddafi was saying in Libya. They're giving them pills and potions just like Gaddafi was saying in Libya, because they're giving you their foreign alcohol, they're sending in pharmaceutical companies like Pfizer and the CIA and FBI to make sure their plan is guided every step of the way. Burn in hell, traitors, because those who assist the enemy will burn in hell. And that burning just might start on Earth. Some past attacks orchestrated by scum who are controlled by scum who have vested interests with scum. We have Madala, Abuja, Gadaka, Damaturu. <clears throat> in this slide, it does not show attacks in Ebo land, but Need I remind you what they've done in the past? And I'm not just talking about terrorist attacks in the recent past or last year's Christmas Eve bombings. I am talking about friends left behind because of what they've done in the past. We saw our friends and family and tribesmen die and we had to leave them behind. I know I was not there, but I was there in spirit. Need I remind you what the scum did and how they used the fact that they could rape women to recruit the soldiers, just like they used the fact that they raped prostitutes to recruit policemen in Nigeria to this day, the night watch, you scum! Fueling Boko Haram's rage. Don't allow the injustice of security forces like the police, the SSS, and the military to justify the scum's terrorist attacks. The money lenders have escorted the scum into the temples of God and the spirit of Jesus has come to whip the scum and bring a sword and use scripture and the spirit as the armor of the Lord you scum armed by devils or are you to propose that that soldier got a stone and a piece of wood and made that bazooka himself? No, he did not make that bazooka himself. 